You ready to talk about it? I was 11 years old. Uh, my mother was touring with Pippin. I was in New Hampshire staying with the family of a classmate for President's Day weekend. Their home abutted a few hundred acres of state forest called Hollander's Woods. We were told never to go into the woods alone. Somebody told you not to, so you had to do it anyway. I walked for hours. I was cold, completely lost. And that's when I saw him, a figure clad in black, kneeling. And after a few moments, he left, and that's when I saw her on the ground. To her? A body. First body I ever saw. Her throat had been slit, and those same symbols were carved into her forehead and her cheeks. I touched her arm. I remember thinking how cold it was. Tell anyone what you've seen here today, and I'll find you and kill you. Do you understand? Go! Why do you think he let you live? I don't know. I waited till I got back to the city to call the police from a payphone. I was too scared to let them know who I was. And who was the girl? That's just the thing. They searched the woods with cadaver dogs. They never found a body. So you never figured out who she was? I checked local papers. No one in the area had been reported missing. When I got older, I checked with missing persons, even the FBI database, for anyone matching her description or any crimes involving those symbols or that mask. But there was nothing. It's like it never happened. And after a while, I started to wonder if it had. That day in the woods, Kate, that's why I do what I do. I'm driven to figure out the story because I could never figure out that one. Why didn't you ever tell me this before? I think I didn't want it to be real, but it is real. He's real. He killed before and he just tried to kill again. <laughs>